friend, statics exam three, problem number eight. Look what it is. It's a friction wedge problem. Let's see if we can do it. Find the force P required to raise block A. Block A has a weight sitting on top of it. And you need to know this right now. Number one, the blocks have no weight. Okay, they're magic blocks. But you need to know what, which way they need to, which way they're sliding because that's going to determine which way friction is going to go. So block uh, B is going to slide in, which causes block A to slide up. Okay, so that's important to know. Um, okay, we need to know about friction. Friction is 0.25 everywhere. So mu sub s at the wall and block to block is 0.25. So find force P. So step one for these problems, our favorite, draw free body diagrams. Okay, so here we go. Two free bodies. Here's number one. And here's number two. Okay, this is the point in the video where I want you to push pause and draw these along with me and let's see what you get. All right, are you back? Here we go. Here's block A. Here's block B. Okay. Um, block B, let's put the givens on there. Block B has a force P. And this block has a weight, which we'll just show as a, a force here of three kilonewtons. Okay. Now I like to next, I like to put on all my normal forces. There, anytime two bodies are in contact, that's perfectly normal. Let's put on all the normal forces, okay? And it doesn't matter what you call these as long as they're different from each other, right? So I'll call this normal from the floor. And I'll make this normal B. And I'll make this normal A. And here is, oh, sorry. That has to be B, doesn't it? Duh. That's the same normal as that guy, isn't he? Okay, this will be normal A over there, okay? Now comes the friction, and you gotta get friction on the correct direction. This is the one time you can't get friction, just guess it the wrong way, and you'll just get a negative. No, you'll just get a wrong answer. Okay, so we gotta get it right. So block, let's do the floor down here first. The block is going to slide to the left, so friction is gonna go to the right, because it opposes motion, right? Let's see, how about this one? This one's easy, right? Block A is going to slide up the wall, so friction's going to go down the wall. Okay? Now, here's the tricky one in here, what's going on in here. So, make yourself the free body and ask yourself, what would you feel? So, if you're this guy, what do you feel? I feel this block sliding, grinding like <laughs> that way, right? And that grinding force I feel is that friction, right? So, over here, I'm going to feel this. Okay. Okay. And then over here, guess what? I have to be the opposite. And if I'm this guy, I feel this one sliding this way relative to me. And that's that friction that I feel. There it is, FB. Okay. We have a 45 degree angle here. So this is 45. All right. And I can kind of do that. And this is 45. Okay. So now that we have our free bodies, did you get them exactly like me? You got to be exact. Well, you could call them different things, but I mean, all the arrows have to be on there in the, in the same direction. Okay. Let's write our equations and solve it. Are you going to start there? Or are you going to start here? Now, again, here's the trick. There's no dimensions given here. So that needs to be your clue that golly, there's no way I could do a moment here because I don't want any distances. Okay. So the trick is, some of the forces the X and the Y is all you have. So you got two equations. Well, this free body here has hmm one, two, three unknowns. That's no good. This one has one, two unknowns. That's where I'm going to start. Okay. And also remember this: Do we have fun friction? Is everything impending motion? If that block moves, does that block move? Yes. So we have impending motion everywhere. So this guy is going to be. 0.25 in F. This guy is going to be 25 in B. This guy, 0.25 in B. And this guy over here, 0.25 in A. We have fun friction everywhere, right? 
Okay, let's start with this free body because it only has two unknowns. So remember, we've got to break these guys into components, okay? Which that's easy to do with a 45 degree angle, isn't it? All right, here we go. Some of the forces in the X, some of the forces in the Y. Okay, in the X direction, I have NA. Who else do I have? Those two guys there, right? This one up here is uh, minus 0.25 NB times the cosine of 45. And then this guy here, since that's a 45 also, is going to be uh, minus NB cos 45. Okay, that, that equation has two unknowns in it. Not my favorite. Let's see about the next one here, okay? In the y direction, what do we have? We have 0.25 in A. Ooh, and that's going downhill, isn't it? And then over here, <clears throat> ooh, I've got minus 3. And then I've got plus NB sine 45. And then I've got minus... 0.25 NB sine 45, okay? So let me use my calculator and kind of clean this up a little bit. What is 0.25 times 0 0.707? 0 0.176, so that's negative, plus another 0 0.707. That's 0 0.883, 0.883, So this equation here, number one, turns into zero is equal to Na minus 0.88, that's an eight, four in B. <clears throat> There's equation one, right? That's just the X equation simplified. Now equation number two, let me simplify this one. I'm gonna move the three to the other side. So three is equal to, <clears throat> let's see, minus 0.25 in A, right? I'm setting this up for my system solvent, aren't I? Um, and then I got 0.707 minus 0.25 times 0.707, which is 0 0.530. So uh, that's going to be plus in B, okay? So there you go, there's my two equations. I'm gonna put those in my system solve real quick. So second system solve, two by two. And what do I have? I have one, enter, minus 0.884, enter, zero, enter. And then I have a negative 0.25, enter. And then 0.53, enter. And then three, enter, solve. Okay, and I get Na is equal to 8.58, and Nb is equal to 9.71. Okay, now what did I really need? I don't need Na. I found him, but I don't really need him because what I need is in B because then I'm going to transfer that information to right over here to do two equations for this guy, okay? Because now I know you and I know you, don't I, okay? And that's going to allow me to go in here and um, get P from the rest of that. Now, uh, let's see, 0 0.25 times, whoops, clear, clear, 0 0.25 times in B is uh, 9.71. So that's 2.43. This guy right here, 2.43 kilonewtons. And NB is uh, 9.71. Okay? Just to help me write my equations a little bit easier, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing again. Here we go. Some of the force in the X, some of the forces in the Y. Here we go. In the X, I have NB. Dadgummit, I'm not going to put in B. I just got a number for that, didn't I? 9.71 uh, cos 45. Okay. And then I got plus, plus 2.43 
Coast 45. And then I got this guy. I'm going to erase this. Is that okay? Oh, no. Plus 0.25 NF. And then minus P. So in the X direction, it's always good to count. I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Pretty good. Next, in the Y direction, what do I have? Well, I've got this guy going downhill. So minus 9.71 sine of 45. That guy's going uphill. Plus 2.43 sine of 45. And then I got NF going uphill. Now that's really good. This Y equation down here is going to give me NF right off the bat, isn't it? So one, two, three things in the Y, one, two, three things down there. I'm good to go. Okay, so what do we get? We got 9.71 times 0 0.707. Okay. Minus 2.43 times 0 0.707, and that leaves you with 5.15. So NF, 5.15 kilonewtons, okay? What else do you have? Oh, then we can take that information, put it right up here, and get P, can't we? So here we go, let's get P. 9.71 times 0 0.707 plus, Two, yes, 2.43 times 0 0.707 plus, one more, 0.25 times 5.15 equals 9.87. Okay, so P, 9.87 kilonewtons. Okay, and there you go. That's how you do a wedge problem. And the whole thing relies totally on you being able to draw your free body diagrams. Can you do it? If you can't, go practice, 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 just drawing the free bodies. I feel like y'all can write the equations by now. Can you draw the free bodies? Okay, I'll see you on the next video.